I'm sleeping in between two motorways here or two ways here. There's one way here in Italy. <clears throat> and here's the motorway on the other side. So I got well it's nice, nice lawn here. Very nice juicy grass. So I was taken hitchhiking by a South African bloke. Me Pharaoh. Everywhere pharaohs. I had to get my storm lines out though because in the middle of in the night it was uh, they have this uh, wind on the Mediterranean called Le Mistral. It can get very stormy, you know, so I don't know how they call it here in Italy. I just call it uh, Le Mistral as in France. It's amazing how juicy and how green the grass is here, beautiful. Compared to France, it was all sandy and dried out, you know, and the way I was at least in France. Beautiful here. It's like... It's, yeah. I, don't, I don't really get it. Why is it so green here? In Italy, you know, in France, it was all dried out and sandy and rocky. I'm here in the village in Italy and uh, I'm here with a colonel from the Italian army who was in Afghanistan and all over. Uh, we're gonna prepare the uh, some pizza here as they used to make it like 300 years ago. And even not very long ago people used to make their bread here for every week for the for 20 families like not very long time ago. So we're gonna prepare the oven it's going to take uh, uh, at least four hours, I think, if I got it right. Uh, it's fantastic. It's going to be the best pizza I ever had. I'm really looking forward to this. You see, this is fantastic. Oh, in the abandoned village. So, uh, the guy is living there, really nice guy. So this oven here it must be at least 300 years old, if not older. Maybe even from the Middle Ages. And uh, it's, it has been used, you know, even a couple of years back they still used it, or you know, like maybe 20 years or 30 years back. Well, he remembered this from his youth. That in this village, you know, the cow shit, there were cows here and sheep, it was, you know, couldn't even see the streets anymore, it was full of cow shit. And it's, um, yeah, fascinating. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes, during uh, the period uh, I stayed in uh, Afghanistan and I was uh, really responsible of, uh, of a logistical uh, area in. Uh, in, uh, in Farah, where is Farah province, yeah, in the north of, uh, of Afghanistan, we'll, uh, we'll try, we'll build many, many water uh, wells, wells for, uh, for the villages. But uh, after two weeks, the women destroyed them because it is uh, not considered for uh, the help the village, but only for uh, the destabilized their common their common life during uh, uh, the daily daily convivence, daily life with the other women of with the other villages, because the the water. There were only water wells in uh, in in the area of uh, five six villages, and uh, it was the occasion for for have uh, for divide the opinion for 
communication, for communication social with life, yeah? social life with the other woman. Mm. So when we we try to build this inside the villages, they they were very angry with us. So you're still you're, you're still a colonel in the Italian army. Yeah, yeah. How do you say this in Italian, a colonel? Hey, colonel. 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 Oh. So what, what what do you what do you think about the information I gave you? Do you want to talk about this? About oh, hey, the pharaohs and the oh, hey, nothing information in Afghanistan about the pharaohs. Yeah, it's no, something else. Afghanistan no. I I was not informed. I didn't have any information about it. Yeah. Uh, so I have only an experience with with my friend Shong about about this uh, this situation, this this story, I don't know nothing about the pharaohs. Yeah. But maybe it is possible. So you still remember here that you, when you were a child, you were making people were making bread here for twenty families. Yes, twenty, thirty family for all the week. Oh, it's fascinating. Yes. Yeah, but so uh, it was normal. Huh? I'm really looking forward to this pizza, I can tell you. It's a daily, <laughs> normal life uh, yeah. in, in every village of, of, uh, of Italy. Yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. Eh beh, non l'ho presa, però più o meno. Eh, la prossima volta, non ci sono passato. Angula. Eh, proprio at the limit, eh? Or so two minutes. Maybe it's still hot. Very, very hot. This is again the uh, Marchesa di Garetto, and there you can see the other, oh, I can't see it with the LCD screen, but uh, here's the other castle, I filmed that once, I think it's that one. So they can see, you know, they can give smoke signals, and there's a church next to it, same, the same bunch. So they can give smoke signals, you know, and, and cover, cover the whole area, the whole valley, and uh, nobody's passing through the mountains, you know. Especially not in those days. So it's Marquesa uh, di Garetto. Well, Ga, it used to be Ka, the soul of the pharaohs when you live. Re is the sun god, and if I translate to or ta, Garetta, Garetto, uh, I'm sure something pops out. It's all pharaonic. This is how pharaohs, how they conquered the entire world, and how they. Uh, they conquered Europe, they took everything, everything belongs to them, it's all pharaonic, that's how they did it. It says Marquesato de Carreto, Ca Re, so it's all bloody pharaohs. And there's a lot of them now, they rule the world. You know, Marquesato, Mer, 
Meru, Me, it means pyramid. Uh, Marquis, it, it's from the word pyramid. In Carreto, it's the soul of the sun god. Uh, the, the sun children, with their base Switzerland. The children of the devil. Mar, Mer, Ke, Ka, Mer, Ke, Sato, that's also Ka. It, uh, it's first word, Mar, Ke, Sato, M M Mer, Mar, it's the pyramid, Ka. Again, the soul, it's written C H E. It's all pharaonic. Sleeping rough in Italy, and uh, no pharaohs around. Sleeping rough is awesome. Ah, Pharaoh. They're everywhere.